Jorns, a leading provider of solutions for advanced wound management, safety and prevention, and healthcare environment design. We collaborate and partner with thought leaders and medical professionals to bring a diverse portfolio of services and products that improve outcomes. We are dedicated to helping healthcare professionals in all care settings enhance patient care, increase efficiency, and deliver results. Hi, and welcome to this training video on troubleshooting the UltraCare XT bed frame. The objectives for this lesson are to demonstrate ways for troubleshooting the UltraCare XT bed frame in order to isolate the failure and ensure the correct fix is made. Within this lesson, we will troubleshoot the control box, motors, and staff control. In addition, we will look at proper bracket installation and other helpful tips that will make your UltraCare XT bed perform exactly as it was designed to do. What do you do when a bed fails to articulate at one single point? The UltraCare XT has four motors that are all controlled within the control box, which is where our troubleshooting will begin and end. If a motor fails to operate, then the problem either stems from a bad motor or faulty wiring within the control box. So to isolate the problem, let's first trace the line running from the motor to the control box, or simply look in the user's manual, which lists lines 1 through 4. The control harness is green, and additional plugs that go into the control box include the emergency battery pack socket and the AC power. We will first test to see if the problem stems from one of the motors or if the problem is within the control box. Begin by unplugging the bed, then remove the cover on the control box. This can easily be done with a screwdriver. Next, let's test the circuit to see if it is working. To do this, unplug one of the motors that is working correctly and place it in the outlet that is failing to operate. This process will help to diagnose whether the motor is bad or if the circuit within the control box is what's causing the problem. If the motor fails when it is plugged into another outlet, well, the problem is with the motor. But if it works, then the motor is good and the trouble stems from within the control box. You can test any motor in either of the two high-low ports, but the high-low motors, they can only be tested properly in the high-low ports. To replace the control box, we will need to disconnect all four motors, the control harness, the battery cable, and the AC power cord. To disconnect the battery cable, use a screwdriver to push down on the red tab and pull out on the cord to release the tabs. To remove the auxiliary battery cable, simply pop the C-clamp up using a screwdriver and unplug the cable. Then remove the C-clip from the motor and slide the control box off of the motor. Now when it's time to reinstall the control box, simply slide it back on the frame and secure it with the C-clip. Begin by plugging in the battery cable and secure it with the smaller C-clip. Plug in the AC power cord and all four motors in the control box. If you need to replace one of the high-low motors, let's first raise the bed to its highest position, if possible, and unplug the power cord from the wall outlet. Remove the head and foot panels so that the frame can be tipped on its side. Using the needle nose pliers, remove the rue rings and slide the clevis pins 
out of each end of the actuator, taking note of the orientation of the pins, as they must be reinstalled in the same direction. Discard used rue rings and clevis pins. You will then need to disconnect the cable running to the control box. When checking the staff control, first, ensure that the staff control panel has not been damaged. If nothing is visibly damaged, then the electronics running from the control box, they are going to need to be checked. Now, to do this, disconnect the wires running to the staff control and simply swap that panel with another panel in your facility. If the swapped staff control works, well, then the problem is with the circuit board, which is going to need to be replaced. However, if you swap the foot panels and nothing works, then you will need to check the patch cord, which runs to the staff control. And if that checks out fine, then the only thing left is the control box. Therefore, that is what is going to need to be replaced. The foot and head brackets, they can be placed incorrectly. Therefore, let's review the correct steps for placing both of these brackets. First, lay the panel on a soft surface. The head panel bracket is the longer of the two sizes. Then, align the top two holes with the bracket. The bracket offset should face up. Use the four screws to install the brackets. Do not tighten until after fitting the mounting brackets into the bed sockets. Repeat the same process with the foot bracket panels. Panels should slip easily in and out of their sockets. Another helpful tip to include might be lubricating rivet points periodically or if your points squeak. Well, thank you all for your time, and if you have any additional questions,